Hi, I'm Jim Watson, founder and president of ArcZone. Welcome to my shop. Let's talk about building a water-cooled TIG torch. I have a 20 series torch, brand new out of the box. Comes with uh, the stainless steel wire ties to install the water and gas hoses. Comes with four and you actually only need two. I'm gonna take this torch and mount it in the vise. Again, I don't use any protective jaws or anything. Just put it right in. You wanna be careful not to over tighten the vise and just grab it right behind the brass fitting. Again, if you over tighten it, these are dead soft copper tubes. They will pinch and uh, could restrict the water flow on your torch. So I have the power cable, water, and gas hose, and I like to take these hoses, pull a little bit of the lead out, stack them up to where they're easily accessible, and then get them in a bundle so you can push them through the handle assembly. Now you want to make sure before you get too far that you've got the right handle for the torch body. This happens to be a threaded torch, and if you look down inside the body of the handle, it has threads in it. So again, I bunch the hoses, push them through the handle, And I like to uh, use a little bit of soapy water. It's a basic, you know, hand soap and a little bit of water on the fitting. Install your wire tie. And just simply push the hose up over the barb fitting. I like to use my uh, twist tie wire ties that I was used on my race car. They were given to me as a gift. Again, just grab the wire. You can lock it down and twist it six times. Same amount of times it would use to uncork a uh, basket on a bottle of champagne. Then use some side cutters to cut the wire tie. And I like to leave about eighth of an inch sticking up. Then take the body of the pliers and fold the wire tie over. Loosen the vise, rotate the body, and move on to installing the gas tube. Now typically on most TIG torches the gas and the water hose are different sizes and they can they keep you from uh, from crossing those connections or mixing them up. On some torches, the hoses are the same size, so you need to really be careful that you don't mix them up. And before you uh, try to use the torch, you definitely want to flow test it, make sure that the gas line is going through the front of the torch and not water. Again, grab the wire tie, sink it down into the center of the fitting. And on this one, it's about nine rotations. So I get close and then give it one last pull, tighten it, tighten the clamp up. Again, cut the wire, fold it over, remove the torch from the vise. Now you've made your two connections for your water and your gas. I generally like to take the pliers and fold the wire down tight and then rotate it to where it doesn't get tangled up. Same on the water hose. Now you're ready to make your power and your water connection. And typically, that is a mechanical connection. There's a threaded stud on the torch body itself and one on the power cable. Now what happens is, on a lot of these torches, when they're silver brazed or they're shipped, the tubes get bent around. And uh, sometimes it's almost impossible to make this power connection. Again, the torch tubes are soft, so you can bend them back out of the way to expose the entire fitting and then simply thread the nut on. Now on this particular power cable, it has a, uh, a stainless steel wire tie connection. And what I do is when you get the torch, I mean the, the nut up close, then rotate the wire tie to where it's on the back side. Get your wrenches. It's best to lay the torch down onto the bench and then tighten the power connection. Usually just one quarter turn to seat it and another quarter turn to make sure it's tight. And it's, it's important not to over tighten these connections. On this particular fitting, you can see how small it is and the water through hole passage is very small and if you, it's a compression fitting so if you over tighten it, you can actually squeeze the fitting down to a point where you can restrict the water flow. Now that you've made the connections, just straighten the tubes out, the hoses, Slip the handle up, and <clears throat> remember that these, some of these hoses can be tight, so you don't want to rip the fittings when you, or the hose when you push the handle on. Get the handle up close and then simply thread it on 
to the desired position. You want to make sure that the handle is fully seated against the silicone rubber or the torch body so you don't get any high frequency leakage in this area because that's where you're holding the torch. So simply tighten the handle up and that's your completed TIG torch assembly. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. If you're in the U.S., our toll-free number is 800-944-2243. Our worldwide number is 760-931-1500. We're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Our web store is open 24-7 at www.arczone.com.